the plugin I just published is a car plugin. You can go to plugins. You can go to the plugin I just made. Create a car. And then it creates a car. Hey everybody, Shaba here, back for another video, and today I'll be showing you how to make a plugin in Roblox. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to View. It will be at the top of Roblox Studio. Click it. And then open Explorer. You're going to need this so you can put your scripts in the right place. So you're going to want to go to Explorer, then right click Server Storage. Then you can go to Insert Object. And then insert a script. This will show up on your screen. You can exit and out of it like that. And it'll be inside server storage. This is what you're going to need to make your plugin. Then we're going to start coding the plugin so it can actually do something and exist. So we're going to want to delete this because we don't need that. And then we're going to need to put the toolbar. So go to plugins. And then you're going to want to create this first. These little tabs. So local toolbar, which is going to be these, equals plugin. So that is not going to be a plugin. This, a colon, and then put create toolbar. And then put parentheses. Then you're going to want to put the name of it. This is the name of it. So you can put quotes. Or this. It doesn't matter. I'm going to put quotes. And then put whatever you want to name it. I'm going to name it Create Part. Because we're going to make a plugin that makes a new part. Then go to the next line. You press like Enter. And then put Local Button. Because we're going to need a button to even press. To know when you need to do this stuff in the plugin. Button equals toolbar, because it's going to be inside the toolbar. Create, wait, colon, create, button. Then parentheses, then quotes. This is going to have more than one thing to put inside of it, inside the parentheses. So, I'm going to want to put the name of the button, which will be right here. I'm going to name it Create New Part. And then get out of the quotes, but not out of the parentheses. And then put this. Put a comma. You put space, and then another quotes. And this will be whatever you hover over it. Th this is what it's going to say. So I'm going to name it Create Creates a New Part. And that's what it will say right there. And then, this is going to be the image. We don't have an image, so you can just leave that blank. And then, you're going to need a function to, to do when you click the button. So, local. It's going to be local. Function. And then, the name of the function, which is going to be create part. And then you can put that there. You don't need to put anything inside of that. So you can just go to the end of the line, press enter. Then the end will be there. And this is how we're going to make the part. We're going to want to make a variable for the part so we can make changes to it. So local part equals instance, which is what you use to create an anything new using the script, dot new. And then you can put in quotes or this, put quotes, then part. This will make a new part, but it doesn't exist yet since it doesn't have a parent or anything or a position. So part dot parent equals workspace. So the parent will be workspace. And then if you want to set a position, you can do that. But to use the position, you need to put a vector3, vector3 dot new, and then whatever like position you want. So I'll put this. 25 studs up in the air, 
no no um depth or width or anything and then that's the new part but we need it to play whenever you click the button so button dot click connect and this will do it whenever you click the button and then you're going to want to put the name of your function so so the function will play whenever you click the button so you can go here server storage inside of server, server storage if it's not open you can go like that and then you can right click script and then you need to save it i'm gonna save it locally and this if you save it local that means only you can use it so i'm naming this create new part then save and then it'll appear up here and then you can use it so go to base plate or whatever the name of your place is it'll be right here and then go to plugins it's right next to view so you go right there and then go to create new part or whatever you named your plugin you can hover over it it'll play it'll say that and stuff since we don't have an icon it's just going to display that and then you can click and then it'll create a new part in in workspace you go to explore workspace and see the part but there's one problem you can't undo it you can only undo the script that you just made so we're going to want to make it so you can undo it you can delete the parts you just made by either right clicking them right here or going in workspace right clicking them and then click delete you can do it like that you can select them all delete and then you're going to make you're going to want to go back to the script so you can double click this and then you're going to want to put this forward a little bit actually no you can press enter at the end of the button line which creates the button and then it'll create a new line right there then we're going to make an, make another variable just local history so you change the un so you can change the history of what you just did because the plugin doesn't create any history so it equals game which is your the whole game get service because change history service is a service and you need to get it using this because it doesn't show in here and then quotes or this and then change history service this will allow you to change the history of what you've done and then to even use the history you have to go to the end of your function right there and then do history colon set waypoint parentheses quotes or this and then you can name the history thing which i'm going to name it created new part and then that'll allow you to undo it we need to save the plugin again so we'll do the same thing save as local plugin we create new part save yes and then you can go back to base plate like we did before and then you can click it you can create a new part and you can undo it and create a couple new parts you can move them around and then you can undo them and undo the moving you can undo the creating and it doesn't matter if you delete the script because it'll still work because it's a plugin if you want to publish your plugin so other people can use it you can do what you did again but except but instead of doing the local you can publish and click that this will appear on your screen then you're going to want to click create new then you can name it i'm gonna name this basic car and you can put a description makes a car then you can click finish if you're done doing the description and name Once it's done uploading, and you can click OK, and then you're done. 
and then you just made your plugin so other people can use it. Now the pub the plugin I just published is a car plugin. You can go to plugins. You can go to the plugin I just made. Create a car. And then it creates a car. It works. You can click play. You can get on the car. And you can drive around. Now to get the plugin, you're going to want to go to plugins again. And then go to manage plugins. These are plugins you've already um, downloaded. If you haven't, then you won't see anything here. You can go to plus, the plus sign, to get new plugins. Basic car. Then you can try to find this right there. And click it. And then you can install it. Clicking that. I don't want to open that or anything. It's already on and stuff. But you can install it. And then when you open Roblox Studio again, you will have it right there. And then you can create a new car. With just one click. I will buy it. That's how you make a plugin in Roblox. Make sure to like and subscribe if you like this video and it helped you out. Peace.